Hi! Welcome to another episode of How to Play a Hearthstone deck. And this time, I'm going to be tackling this very interesting new variant of Control Warrior with an OTK combo. Yes, it exists in a Control Warrior deck. It is possible. Let's get into the details. So, the first thing I really want to say is that this deck is a control deck. It is a control deck with a win condition of OTK, but it's not really a win condition because it's not like Mozaki Mage that literally does not exist without Mozaki. It is more so a control deck with a bonus combo. It's like OTK Bolner Shaman. It can win most of its game by controlling the game and depending on the meta you will need to either control the game or to wait for your otk so it is a classic warrior deck control warrior deck with a lot of tools such as shield slam the famous bulwark lord baroff rancor brawl etc etc and then when you look down there you see some weird stuff and that is your otk which is possible thanks to to the front. You, you actually need to use two of those. Then you can use Captain Galvangar after having gained 15 or more armor, which is going to be a 9-9 charge for six. Can you believe that Blizzard actually printed a charge card? Absolutely unbelievable. Then you're going to want to copy it once or twice with the faceless and give two copies Wind Fury, which is, well, 36 damage if you copy it once and uh, even more if you copy it twice but usually if you copy it twice you use this, the third one to clean the board like a taunt or something. Then you have Rattle Gore which is on its own a really really good win condition. And you have the recently buffed Rokara which has quickly risen um, to be one of the best heroes. So that is basically the, the goal of the deck. It is controlling the game most of the time. And then you have an OTK in the end game if you need it. But again, don't focus too much on that because most of the time you won't even need it. Um, for the variants, uh, depending on what you face, you can either add or remove the Vipers. Uh, it can be very interesting to have a Mutanus. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to do that. Let's remove one Viper and put one Mutanus in um, just to see. Um, how it feels. Of course, the deck is quite expensive, as you can see, but it's quite fun to play Control, control Warrior in 2022 and it being a viable deck. As for the matchups, you will struggle a ton against OTK deck, true combo OTK decks, not not like us. Um, Demon Hunter, Bolner OTK, um, Owl, Warlock, which even if you have a Bulwark, doesn't care. It, it could just put 16 times 7 in your face. It's it's just too much. Um, you also have Ping Mate that is not a great matchup. Buff Paladin, which is a great part of the meta. So this deck is not in the best spot right now in the meta, but it's definitely really playable and it's actually quite fun, trust me. On the other hand, you can win against many tempo or aggro decks such as Face Hunter, Tempo Rogue, uh, anything like this, um, Aggro Druid, all of these are very, very good matchups. Um, so again, my advice for this deck is play it as a control, adapt your deck to the meta with the Vipers, the Mutanus, this, all of this, maybe add two Brawls, two Rankers, depending on what you encounter. But that's basically what this deck is about. Let's do a couple games since you added, you asked me to, to, to add more games to each video. So let's see how many I can do, how many are interesting. At least two, maybe three. Let's do this. All right, this is a very good card. It might not look like it, but um, Frozen Buckler is very interesting. It can prevent you from getting killed. So obviously we don't keep any of this. That's very useless. Against Paladin, I guess we want some, yeah, exactly. Corsair Cash. <laughs> That's the only good thing in this hand, but Corsair Cash is a great start. Let me actually check the best um, Mulligan. Minefield, Outrider's Axe, um, Corsair Cash, yeah, what I expected. This we don't need to play. This one, this this heavy plate, you will most, most of the time not play it um, in the early game, so you can, you can trade it without hesitating. 
Ah, that's the worst one. Really wanted the axe to draw. So, in case you're not familiar with control decks, the challenge is to handle your resources. Like, don't waste too much. Waste, I mean, not waste. Use just what you need every time. Most of the time you won't do anything, but yeah, your challenge will be to know your opponent's win condition. If it's the board or a combo or anything. Okay. And handle, handle that. This is a very important tool. What? Uh, why am I drawing all of the combo? Not doing anything for now. This is a very cool combo. This is a 5 damage AoE. Right now it does nothing. I have an absolutely terrible hand for now. And against Agro Paladin, it can be not on the Divine Shield. Oh, what? Okay, that was rude. Gains rush if it has at least four attack. Yeah, if I copy it, that's not gonna work. Um, that hurts. Okay, that's a draw. Whoops. No, <laughs> don't confuse these two. It happens a lot. Uh, we do the, yeah, buckler, shield shatter, and shield slam. Oh, that's that's when my uh, deck tracker starts to work. Interesting. It's not even working. Let me just close it. If you're a Giga Chad, don't play with the deck tracker. Ellen? Okay. I don't really know what they are playing. It's a weird deck. I thought it didn't exist. I think I'm gonna face less that. As I said, this is a. Ooh! Yeah, but there's no point in coining it. As I said, this is a control deck, not. <clears throat> Sorry, majorly um, an OTK deck, so don't hesitate to use your faceless like that. Also, um, I have two faceless, and that's more than enough. But in this matchup, considering it's an aggro paladin, don't need to hesitate. I'm probably not going to kill them with the combo, even though I already had many pieces. This is going to draw me the um, the rattle gore. Okay, this is the perfect moment to use the, um, the bulwark. What? I actually had all the combo? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Okay, it's a good time to play the bulwark, but at the same time, Rokara seems pretty decent. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna be at 17 and he has 8. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty good pretty good yeah ever since the oh i can also use that and clean this is the kind of turn that is quite hard also if i just have this wind fury that's 18 damage yeah i actually think i'm gonna do this and i might be even setting up lethal because that's eight in their face and I have 19, so that's actually lethal if they don't have a taunt. Which is absolutely crazy, because this costs 2, 4, 6... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Forget what I said. Unless they don't have a taunt. Yeah. That is what I thought. Alrighty then. If I hit, that's, they go to 15. No, that doesn't work. That does not work. Ah, oh, man, I really wanted to play Mutanus and the Bulwark. The other thing I could do would be to just play R Rattle Gore. Because I'm most likely not dying. I don't think they play two battle masters. Um, but just in case, it's probably a good idea. I guess I'm gonna take the risk. 
I want to set up lethal next turn with Rattle Gore. So I'm going to take the risk. I think the only way they kill me is another Battle Master. So see if... I'm going to say it now just in case they kill me in the meantime. If they don't have exactly the second Battle Master, I... That they top deck in the 14 other cards. Yeah, I hope you know that this was, I think, a winning play. Most of these decks don't play two Battle Masters. It was maybe a stupid risk, but I think on the long run, it was the best thing to do. Uh, because with the Wind Fury, I could clean the Varian very easily with Rattle Gore. It happens, it's okay. Remember that this is the kind of things that you have to... Like, I lost this game, obviously, that's a fact. But on the long run, it's better that I lost it this way, because I'm pretty sure that this was the winning play. Anyway, on to another game, hopefully a win. A druid. That has to be a very difficult matchup. As usual, we want the draw. You would keep this if it was an aggro druid, but pretty sure it's not. Most likely a ramp druid. Let me actually check for the matchup. Ramp druid. 24% win rate. Well, I guess I'll see you for another game, but let's see how this goes. I have a pretty good hand. If it's aggro druid or beast druid, that's a more than 60% win rate for me. Well, it's not quest at least. Are they playing something? No. Hmm. I mean, if I can, if I can draw all of my combo very early, I only have one piece right now. Maybe I can do something, but yeah, it sounds very difficult. They just like even with my full combo, which is I think fifty-four. If somehow I manage to. to get double Wind Fury, and I don't even think that's possible. They have usually way more than that. Okay, so... Are we playing? I think we want the tempo. I guess we play that. That's the only shot, is to pressure as much as possible. That's the, the win condition against the Ramp Druid. So I guess I can even hit with my Outrider's Axe, because they are not gonna... <laughs> you heard that, YouTube boys? You better subscribe. Come on, come on. Okay, no overgrowth. Yeah, I guess we want to put some pressure. There's no way we win this without... Ooh, piece number two. Basically, the Outrider's Axe is useless. Again, in this matchup, it's almost never gonna draw. I just have to remember to to to, to gather enough armor for Garvengar. But I have 10 with only one 2-mana card. Okay, coin. <laughs> yep, that's a Ross game. Fifteen left, so I can do twelve right now. And I have an eighteen. I should probably keep this for to kill something on their board, so I'm not gonna do anything actually. There's literally nothing I can do. I really need draw. I really need Well basically if I get the rest of like if I exactly draw to the front and battle master. Could be done, but they already are in guff. That's gonna be hard. Ugh. The only way I can win this is by stealing the game away. Not doing anything. Okay, that's draw, I guess. Oh man, we just re-equip it again and again. Hey, some pressure. They are arts 18, which is in range of Galvengar. 
baseless, but don't be fooled. Druid can now gather even more armor than warrior. Hmm. But not less than one, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay, I can draw for zero. We take those. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Now that is interesting. I just need 13 armor. I guess I need to use... Wait. Next turn I have 18 already. And they cannot get armor. Right now. Do I really need to draw, to be honest? I feel like I have all the pieces. I just need to have enough armor. So let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's keep this one. Five left. It's not active yet. And there starts trouble. If they double Scenarian Ward, I don't know if there is a way out of this game. That's the satisfying part when you're a druid. You can literally play your entire deck with man one mana. But when you're facing it, you just wait for stuff to happen. Okay, no double. I'm just... Okay. A bit off. If only this was active now. That was a one. Could have been one. Okay, this I don't care. I can just shield slam it. Pretty easily. Okay, I'm keeping the buff. Yeah, I need to activate my Galvangar ASAP. Kill this and put some pressure again and again and again and again. But they have six mana and everything costs one, so I'm not expecting to win. It's just my my only shot against this deck is as much pressure as possible. This is going to be the deciding turn, if they have Scenarian Ward or not. If they don't, but they put a huge board, maybe something is doable with Baroff. I don't know. I can also tempo a bit with Bulwark, but they have drawn so much, like, there's no way I win this game. I still, I'm still in it, because there's a very small percentage. See, this is a terrible draw. That they don't get anything. Mm. Yeah, that's basically the same as Scenarian Ward. Is that, wait, that's, how much is this? Wait, I think I won. I actually won this game? There's no way. There is no way. So that's 18. Plus 18, 36. <laughs> See? Play till you're out. So that's why I didn't trade. Absolutely miraculous that I actually won this game. Well played. I think they got extremely unlucky, but there we go. That's the second game. I feel like that's enough for this video. You understood um, the the goal of this deck, you see the win conditions controlling in the first game. In this game is putting as much pressure as you can. I got lucky with my draws, they got unlucky. It was a very weird game. Maybe they played it poorly, I don't know their hands. Uh, but there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, head to the comments. Good luck on your games. See you around.